Good morning. I am recording this video um, because a colleague was asking, how can I share my slides and my video, but not the videos of uh, other students in class? So the only way I could, well, so Zoom has a feature where you can present slides. So if you go down to screen share and go to advanced, there is a beta, uh, beta product where you can share slides as a virtual background. So you see, I have a virtual background. Um, so you could see my face and the virtual background. In this case, you could share your slides as the virtual background. And they've got this cool way you can, you know, position your head in a certain place and make it bigger or smaller. But my colleague wanted to be able to use animations. Currently, the beta virtual background doesn't support that. So my suggestion was to use OBS. You can see it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So let me open up OBS. OBS centers around different sources. So down here in the lower left, you can see I've got a ton of different sources. What you're probably going to want to do is um, record, let's see, so what we want to do is have OBS be able to record your face and the slides and put them together. And then we would have Zoom share the OBS output. So I'm going to turn off my video. All right. So now what we would do is we could do, let's say display capture. So in this case, display capture means I'm going to capture an entire desktop or an entire monitor. So I could, I'm going to open up PowerPoint and, and then I take that PowerPoint and then display it on a different monitor. So now this is um, playing on display one. So, uh, and if you wanted, instead of sharing a display, you could just share a window. So for instance, you could just share the window and then you wouldn't see this, this top border that has the Mac stuff on it. Okay, so I've got my display. Let's see, let's make this, I can resize this to make it fit, hopefully into the right size. There we go, that looks about right. And then I can also capture my video. So I can turn on my video capture device and I'll bring that to the forefront and I can change my size. So now I could, if I wanted, present this. So that's kind of cool. Now, so what I could do is just have Zoom share this window but instead I'm going to do something a little different. So in OBS, there is this thing called a virtual camera. So let me hop back. So if we do a search for OBS virtual camera, on, for me, it's on Mac. Uh, I use OBS Mac virtual cam, but there's a windows version you can use. And I assume there's a Linux version as well. So let me hop back into uh, OBS and now I can go tools and after I download this plugin, I can start virtual camera. So this is pretty cool. What this does is it takes the output of OBS and makes it into a virtual camera. So now I'm going to hop back into zoom and change my camera. So let's see, first I'll stop sharing. Now we're back in Zoom and you see this uh, static picture of me. So now I'm going to go down to start video and I click the up carrot in the upper right. And instead of choosing my camera, now I see OBS virtual camera. So I select that 
and I start my video and that didn't work at all. So, oh, 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 I see what's happening. So I still have my virtual background on. So that's messing things up. So I'm gonna go into the, again, the up carrot, choose virtual background and just turn that off. And now, now you can see I would be presenting my slides and my face. And you'll notice it's backwards um, because I have mirror my video on. So, because when you mirror your video, it, uh, it makes your, flips it so your hand and the, the side is, is reversed like you're looking in the mirror. So if I don't mirror my video, then I can actually see what it really looks like to other people. So now I've got this uh, recording my Zoom meeting and I can hop back into PowerPoint and I can advance the slides. And now you can see that I can uh, advance the slides and oh, it looks like actually my, my face probably shouldn't be there. So I can, I can hop back into OBS and just move it around or resize it. All right, so that's my recommendation for how you could share your slides and yourself. Um, and this way, you can just record, uh, that way you can just record yourself and other people won't be recorded with the right Zoom settings. So feel free to ask me any questions if you have them. Uh, Matt Taylor in Computer Science.